V Squad. So hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Victoria. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you become a part of the V Squad. And if you are an Odie but a goodie, you know I have nothing but love for you. So today you guys, we are doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. First of all, I didn't wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Ali Annabelle. I'll leave all their links down below. They sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous Brazilian hair, okay? So this is their Brazilian straight. So I have in three bundles of 20 and then a 20 inch closure as well. And you guys, this hair is the most beautiful, silky, hair i have ever seen like this hair right here is gorgeous like do you guys see that shine like look at that yes but you guys know that ali annabelle never fails i have worked with them before and i love the hair that i got before i'll leave the video here and also in the cards for you to go check out the previous video i did for them so i also did want to mention that this is a closure not a frontal and can you believe it like it looks just like a frontal but this is the closure. So the closure did come to me pre-plugs and it looked a little different from what like I was used to. Like it had a lot of space in the front between like the baby hairs and like the lace and then it just had a lot of space and I just didn't know what to do with it at first. But after I made my wig and cut the lace off, I noticed that they like pre-pluck the closure so definitely i think they did it on purpose so you can like have options to wear like a frontal or a closure so i definitely really like that method i am going to show you exactly what i'm talking about i have not straightened this hair i have not done nothing to it but spray some water on it and lay it down honey and as you can see this is popping okay but i really do love this hair like you guys can see how beautiful how pretty it is it is really thick very full I only use three bundles in a closure like tell me this is not crazy like the hair is gorgeous and i probably shouldn't wear black hopefully you guys can still see it but um this hair is absolutely to die for like it's so pretty stay tuned for the chit chat get ready with me because it's one you don't want to miss i guess i will talk to you in the get ready with me part this is why i don't do makeup tutorials because it is really hard for me to edit them so because i'm always like messing up and doing stuff i shouldn't i'm not gonna be showing you guys like what colors like from palettes and stuff that i use because this is not a tutorial honey Mm -mm. you guys seen the title we're just gonna go ahead and get into it um somebody the reason why i had thought about this is because somebody had literally asked me in my last video because i was talking about me being married and all of that um she was like or i don't know if it was a she or he because honestly they didn't have a profile thing which usually people that say stuff usually don't but anyway so um they was like uh, you said you're married or if you're married, why don't you wear your ring? So I told them I was gonna make a whole video about it because I was already planning to do that anyway. So you guys just, or that person just beat me to it. But basically, I'm gonna tell you guys a little backstory while I'm doing my makeup. Hopefully I can talk and do this at the same time because y'all, this is hard. I don't know how people be doing it, but they be doing it, okay? So not mind my baby hairs up here. That is not done, honey. This is not the wig we going with today. So, so the reason why, ooh, I got some in my eyes. See, this is why I don't do makeup tutorials. It's because uh, I used to wear all the time, of course, when I first got it. Um, it. My wedding ring was always like too big for me and like I have really skinny, long fingers. So, I would always wear it, but then it would be like slipping and sliding if I wash my hands or, you know, I just had too many situations to where I almost lost it. So I just got tired of that. I had got mad at him one time and I ended up taking my ring off. I wear it sometime, but not all the time. But let me tell you what happened, okay? Cause I don't have the, like, I had two bands. So let me tell you what happened to one of them. One time I was like, you know, you know, I wasn't mad at him anymore. And I was like, let me just put my ring back on. And I told him the reason why I really stopped wearing my ring, it was because I was mad at him, but it was because it was too big. And I just got tired of asking him to get it resized. And I know I could have did it, but honey, whatever. Anyway, so um, one day I was like, you know, I really want to wear my ring, you know, 
we went, I forget where we were, I think we were going like to dinner or something. Like we went to family dinner. I feel like I've been blending this forever, but I guess that's the key to good makeup. And you guys, I do makeup looks, and this is like off topic, but I do makeup looks, but I barely ever do them because I don't know, I just, they require too much work and I just don't be in the mood for all that. So I like just a plain, basic, that's another reason why I don't like doing makeup tutorials because I don't keep up with all the latest and greatest products. I'm just not that type of person. So, anywho, back to the story. I put it on and then I was in the car putting on lotion and I guess I wasn't paying attention and the freaking, like I put it on the dashboard. Like I took it off and put it on the dashboard to put on the lotion and um... I wasn't paying attention and then my husband like drove off and the ring fell in the car so I know where it's at I just can't get to where it's in the car like underneath his seat and it's like all the way down in the seat so the ring is gone the ring is in there we can't get to it he can't get to it I can't get to it I just messed up my brow but yeah, he can't get to it, I can't get to it, and it's just, it's in the car. It's not like I don't know where it's at. And it's not the actual, like, diamond, it's the band. I mean, I could be wearing the band still, but, um, girl, uh-uh, it's still too big, so I'm just gonna wait for him to buy me a new ring. I probably should put it on a necklace or something, I don't know. I just, I got so used to not wearing it. I haven't had my ring on in a long time. And I know like, I'd probably be the first person to be like, sis, you need to be wearing your ring. But girl, <laughs> that man pissed me off. And you know he had to piss me off bad. He probably was getting on my nerves or something. Cause we really don't be having terrible issues. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't nothing too crazy going on over here. But girl, I sure took that ring off. I was like, uh-uh. I was like, nope, not that it really matters because we still married, you know, so that's basically it. I don't know if I like it, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just saying, I don't know. To me, it looked kind of crazy, but we gonna see. You guys know how like your makeup looks will look kind of cuckoo crazy until you get done with it and then, you know, pop on some lashes and then it looks really good, so. We gonna see how it turns out. This is my shit, y'all. Finished my makeup. I'm gonna do a couple more touches. I gotta put on some lip gloss. This hair, I don't know if I told you guys, comes from Ali Annabelle. Comes from Ali Annabelle. I'll leave all the information you need down below. They were kind enough to send me over some pretty lashes so i am about to put these on for the video because they are so freaking cute so yeah i think i'm gonna put on some more highlight i'm gonna use my nicole guerrero palette i haven't used this thing in forever sorry for the shakiness i keep bumping my camera but i think that i'm gonna use what do i want to use we're gonna fix my hair and everything too so don't worry about that but i think i'm gonna use this one right here this one is called daydream yeah, this one, Daydream. So I'm gonna put this on top of my lip gloss. This is from LA Colors. Um, I don't know if it has a name. It's just has numbers, so I don't know. It's like a peachy type of color. I actually got it from the Dollar Tree. So if you see these, pick them up because I love them. So I'm just going to put it right on the center. Just gives, you, you know, your lip gloss a little bit more pop. So. Now, you guys, I just went through hell and back trying to get these lashes on. And this one feels really weird. So if I'm moving my eye a little weird, it's because it just feels weird. I don't know why. So we're going to move on to my hair. And I'm basically just going to lay it down. Only thing I'm going to use is some water. I have my spray bottle. And then I'm just going to spray the top, literally. 
because this is straight hair anyway so it's not gonna like curl up or anything so i'm just gonna comb it down and it's literally that easy if you have mousse or something you can use mousse um because i feel like it'll hold it better but i just like using water and it works just fine for me So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this Get Ready With Me and about my beautiful, gorgeous hair. Like, I just, I love this hair. I cannot stop touching it. It's so soft and so silky. Like, to be Brazilian hair, this hair is very soft and like, luscious like this is some really really luscious hair and i'm just <laughs> i'm in love with it i'm so glad that i got 20 inches like it's not too long it's not too short it's like perfect for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye Mwah.